Hello, my name is Dark Berries. I hijacked this channel to talk about Full Monk Guide for Ragnarok Origin Global Edition. Why did I highlight Ragnarok Origin Global Edition? Because there are a lot of versions of Pro Origin on the internet now. Many of the content creators outside share their experiences from Korea servers. Please take it with a grain of salt, because most of the info they share is not working in global servers. Every global monster has higher stats, which will affect the meta and job balance. So here, my info is based on Taiwan servers, which use Ru 2.0 system from the start, just like a global server. Now I will explain, newbie to veteran knowledge of Monk, throw spirit sphere, and Asura build included skill build, tips with explanation. Players who already reach level 7, can change job to Monk instantly. The best class to transfer to is, Knight and Blacksmith, who use the same equipment and enchantment. Before transfer, please ensure that you are prepared. In the early game, get used combo attack to grind, stats go all agility. Fast attack speed will make you grind faster. Level 1 to 7, leveling with combo build, until you are 3rd job level 7. Change to throw spear and ball build. Level 1 to 69 is the hardest time, but if you were transferred from another class, then congratulations, enjoy the monk's funniest part instantly. Throw spear ball, also is the best solo target grinding skill with only half a second animation, while assassin soul breaker has 0.7 seconds. Support Elemental Converter to deal bonus damage too. Also, Throw Spear Ball has a very high damage multiplier with very low SP cost, no blue pot issue. Better than Blacksmith Cart Attack, who wastes all Eden coin on blue pot. Monk got its Throw Spear Ball Medi Glove at level 7, and slowly getting upgraded at 80, 90 and Ultra Boost at level 100. Boost 100% damage and remove fixed cast time. This is buffed a lot compared to JP and Korea servers. As long you focus on its ignore defense issue with high tier time and space feather at late game, which should be obtainable as free to play. For level 100, use LV70 to 90 Throw Spear Glove also can deal good damage as free to play, because of the ignored defense bonus it provides. How important is ignored defense in Ragnarok Origin, already explained in previous video. So the main stats priority to increase for Monk are. Stats point build for throw sphere ball, main SDR, sub dex, allocate dex until you got 0 VCT, which may vary between each player. While Asura stats point build is, main SDR, sub in, for more max SP, the max SP parameter affects the Asura damage a lot. The enchantment also differ, throw spear ball needs, ranged damage, but it's a strike needs, melee and max SP. A sura strike ignore all defense and flee, the more max SP you got, the higher damage it deal. The best skill to one hit players in PvP and deal large damage on instant MVP but cannot deal large damage to wild MVP to steal MVP or last hit. Because the wild MVP has HP shield that prevents nuke damage. Asura strike 8 million but only dealt 4 million damage. So actually you go for hybrid build. Stats focus on melee and max SP and INT, for maximum Asura strike damage. 
No need to invest too much in Prosphere while it can deal 2000% ranged damage every half a second with low SP. Also can be converted with Elemental. Weapon also provides high ignore defense, meaning easy high damage always. Both the Sura and Prosphere Ball can use all damage multiplier. The best go mob is size plus race. So the famous cards such as Minotaur, Skeleworker, and Hydra need to get them if possible. Skill point allocation in the early game, leveling using an agility build is the best. After second job, max combo related skill, continue leveling until you level 70. Change job to champion. Auto combo skill set choose the first basic combo. Second and third combo only unlock after third job. After third job champion. After max, zen, and throw spear at spear. Reset skill point and remove all second job combo related skill. You will be only using throw spear at spear and a sura strike only. The combo attack is not very good. Also, after third job, you will gain fast SP Regan skill. Very good support after using the Sura Strike. Also, after level 90, you will get SP Armor set to bring your Sura Strike damage to a higher level. But need both all plus 15 to unleash its full potential. Equipment Guide, while grinding, use Throw Spear Ball Glove, upgrade it every 10 levels till you got the level 100 glove. Recommended hybrid build, so using level 85 STR ring here. Not using max SP or ranged damage accessory. Of course, this is depending on you. Asura build equipment, just change the glove to Asura glove. That's all ha ha. Also, if you like PvP, getting smoky card or any card that gives physical damage is good. Approaching while hiding, and a Surestite sneak attack combo. Marine Spear card is also useful if you're using Fire Converter, your throw Spear Ball will gain 20% fire damage as well. But not working with a Sura Strike as a Sura Strike is forced to neutral elemental. Best pet will be Samurai in the early game, which gives a lot of DPS, at late game would be the pet that gives you durability, to ensure your Asura Strike lands successfully. Child of Earth is the best pet to counter Asura Strike 1 hit kill. He can transfer full Asura Strike damage to himself to save Master. Varus Core is very important for Monk, such as Asura Instant Cast and Range Increase. Throw Sphere Ball has 50% no consuming sphere. Also, the distance and target HP core that gives bonus damage percent is very useful to Asura too, because the base damage of Asura is huge. After level 90, Divine Armament Instant Unlocked. The place where you can get your end game here. 
You can quickly swap build between throw spear ball and Asura build, just with one click. No transfer cost and crafting equipment are needed after level 90 and above. Also with a special attribute, Deadly Physical, Magic, which increases up to 10% final damage. Also, level 90 SP armor set, when refined plus 15. You gain an extra 15% max SP and 500 max SP. With their 15 Beery and Bay Desert Walk card, you get a prox 700 extra SP. Keep casting, Zen, or any skill 5 times, to get max SP plus 500 buff from level 90 equip set. Following with max potential Asura Strike. After the 10 seconds no SP gain debuff from Asura Strike is over, use Tranquility to heal your SP. Level 90 equipment set will give a lot max SP, which will maximize Asura damage. Even not month, other class also gain damage boost with set effect, with plus 15 needed. Also, while Paladin is coming soon, PvP lover also needs to get this card free only illusion card, to ignore Paladin's auto guard skill. If you wail enough, you can farm the red MVP card from MVP or auction. Month PvP, use throw spear at spear to DPS, when facing support, or whale class, cast, zen, fury, zen, then, Asura Strike. The whale will also die as long the combat power between each other is not too much. Cast, Kyrie Elisa, to block fire skull damage for more durability. ご視聴ありがとうございます。いいねをクリック、動画をシェアするよろしくお願いします。